Use this programming glitch down the sideline to expose your opponent for a one-play touchdown. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that shows you full games of all the tips and schemes that I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe button, also that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. So one of my patrons uh, wants me to build out a full scheme out of the Gun Buck Trips formation. And this is a similar formation that you could find in the Green Bay Packers playbook. Uh, but I actually found um, a particular play that's actually a little bit glitchy. Now, I don't know if this is something that's common knowledge. Um, I saw some of the glitchiness uh, of this particular of uh, this play, and I'm going to build the entire scheme out of this play, a five-play scheme uh, that I'm going to provide to Jack Johnson, one of my Patreon members. Uh, so, guys, if you're interested in seeing the entire scheme, you can you can roll over to my Patreon uh, 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 program and just go ahead and sign up for that, and you can see the entire scheme. But this is a request by one of my Patrons. It's going to be um, I'm going to be building this off of one play. It's going to be the slot drive, and I'm going to be building out a few a few more plays out of this uh, to go and help him uh, attack uh, one of his uh, league opponents. So uh, basically, we're going to take a look at this now. This play is very effective against cover three coverage. So what I want to do is I want to show this to you against cover three and why this is really glitchy. Now the guy off to the right, Brown, uh, you want to watch his defender off to the right uh, on, the, on Brown. And against cover three, a lot of times what's going to happen is that defender is going to pull out of position, allowing you to actually go and attack your opponent. Now the key to this play is you want to be on the uh, on the left hash mark opposed to the right or the center of the field. And the reason why is that you're going to pass lead off to the sideline. But watch Brown. His defender pulls out of the area, and it actually gives you an easy completion right down the sidelines. And I'm throwing that on the 25-yard line. I'm actually getting a touchdown, a 75-yard play. So let's watch the mechanics of this and why this play, why this route is so deadly against cover three shells. What happens with cover three is that the, the, the combination these these uh, uh, defensive assignments by these two defenders gets a little bit glitched out by this little uh, dip route. So you see how he dips out just one, like two steps and then goes does a straight uh, straight up uh, run. This guy actually has to follow and slide with this defender, so that pull, pulls him out of position. But watch this defender. The defender playing the deep blue shell should be playing deep blue, but look what he does. He takes one, two, three, four steps in to this, uh, towards the sideline, and then I tr tries to make a break back. Uh, now I'm already 10 yards out, and because all I have to do is just read this defender right here to see how he reacts, I know I can do a pass lead to the outside uh, sideline, and no one's going to be in the area to go and uh, stop that, and I can get an easy completion. And if I actually catch it in stride, he's off to the race. So what's cool about this is that if you got a guy that don't, runs a single high shell, you can just keep tacking them with this little glitch route, and it's just so annoying to stop. Once again, C pulls, gets out of position. I'm just going to rack this puppy and just get an easy first down. So single high safety is going to be an automatic tell that you complete this route, and you're just just going to sideline pass it, just push it up, uh, take the ball, and actually put it off the sideline. So that's why this play is so deadly against cover three is that it glitches out that coverage. But sometimes you can use this against cover uh, cover two and actually get some pretty good plays too. So if you're going against someone that runs a lot of cover two, a lot of times what's going to happen is this defender is just going to play down to the flat and allow you to go and, and complete that ball too. So right here, the defender actually lets him go by. You're just going to go ahead and get an easy, easy completion with that cover two beater. So right here, the defender actually carries with them, and now you just make your progressions um, uh, in other areas of the field to go ahead and attack on that way. So this is a this is a good play to go and throw into your scheme because it's going to give you an option to go ahead and get this these one play touchdown opportunities if he's in the wrong coverage. 
Uh, and I, I'm going to build the entire scheme out of this uh, from one of my patrons, Jack Johnson. So, guys, once again, thank you for your support. I hope you got to appreciate these type of tips. I know this is uh, is going to give me give you opportunities to go ahead and catch your opponent off guard. And sometimes when it comes down to winning a game, just a cheap touchdown is going to be the difference between you winning a game and losing a game. So that's one of the reasons why this is actually really good to do that. So to my subscribers, thank you for your support. If you do like these type of tips, make sure you hit that like button, and I'll be rolling out more gameplay and more tips uh, coming out soon. Thanks a lot.